The former North Little Rock school where Darren McFadden used to score touchdowns is being given new life. What was once Oak Grove High School will soon be a source of hope for people in recovery. The first uh, kind of reaction is a little overwhelming. It's not every day you buy a vacant high school, but that's exactly what Chris Dickey did to start off the new year. It may look like a, a danger zone, a, a haunted house to, to others, but I see a place where we can actually have people thriving and restoring their lives. Dickey is the founder of Natural State Recovery, an outpatient substance abuse treatment center in Little Rock. On Friday, he became the new owner of what was formerly Oak Grove High School in North Little Rock. Nice little courtyard for people to come out and on nice evenings. His goal? To give people seeking recovery more options when it comes to treatment. Kind of what we see right now is it's kind of patchwork. Like if I am in a crisis, I go to a detox and then three or five days later, it's on me and my family to find the next level of care. And then after that, it's on me and my family to find the next level of care. Once complete, the facility will serve as a one-stop shop for those in recovery, offering detox, outpatient, and inpatient options for both men and women. We're technically a state-licensed accredited outpatient facility, and we, we can't help with detox or residential. And so that's why we uh, bought and invested in the Oak Grove community and this high school specifically. With the acquisition of this campus, we're going to be able to add an incredible array of activity therapies from weightlifting. We have a track where Darren McFadden used to run. Uh, we'll have art therapy. You can shoot hoops. Not everyone is pleased with the plans, though. During our interview, a member of the Oak Grove community approached Dickey with her concerns. And we're concerned, is there going to be any new fencing all along here? Betty Martinez has lived in the community for 50 years and is a graduate of Oak Grove. She says safety is her number one concern. We don't want it in our backyard. This community only has one access road to this area. There's an elementary school um, and we feel blindsided. We had cameras rolling as Dickey offered to give Martinez and her son a tour of the facility. We'll, we'll move this desk out and put some, you know, nice materials. It'll be a weight room. However, Martinez is standing firm. I know now that the cell is final, um, but we would like to not see this hospital here. We want to make sure that that they're in a safe environment to be able to heal um, because our people aren't bad people trying to get better. They're sick people trying to get well. Dickey says he understands the concerns, but hopes to see the community's perspective change over time. I'm open to talk to any community members that have any concerns. I can walk them through that uh, individually. Um, there's, there's nothing that we're you know, trying to do in secret. I mean, I want to be fully transparent. And Dickey hopes to have natural state serving patients by mid-year, mid-2020. And he, he is staying true to his promise of listening to concerns. In fact, there is a community meeting tonight at Graves Baptist Church at 630 mm. if you would like to attend. But like yeah. he said, Amanda, there is nothing really like this in this state where you have everything all under one roof. Yeah, it seems like it's something that's really needed. Mm -hmm. I liked uh, the comment that he made at the end where he said it's not bad people trying to get better, it's sick people trying to get well. Get well. And mm -hmm. so just, you know, maybe seeing from different perspectives what these sure. people are going through, hopefully will make people uh, maybe less scared or intimidated mm -hmm. by something like that coming in the neighborhood. And I think Chris offers a wonderful perspective. Um, he did allow me to say this, but Chris is a person of recovery as oh, well. That's great. So he has that shared perspective. So definitely go out tonight if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have that information for you on THV11.com. Awesome. Rob.